You also mentioned journaling as a way of sort of developing your ideas and skills. Can I think you mentioned it on your Instagram, is that right? Yeah, for um, sure. So, can you describe what's involved in that and, and this idea of a call to action or writing goals intentionally through journaling and how that helped you? Yeah, so when I had made the decision to pr pursue a PA school, it was a little bit uncomfortable for myself because I had been um, like thinking that I was going to pursue medical school for so long. So to make that switch mentally was very challenging. I found even though like other people were super encouraging and everything, I just felt for myself because I had been thinking one way for so long that that's what I was going to do. It was really challenging to switch my focus. So I thought, okay, so I'm going to try to write down that I'm going to PA school. And I specifically chose like a phrase that made it like an action phrase and that I was going to get in and when I was going to get in to make it something to seem like telling myself that this is what I want and this is when I'm going to get in um, when I knew that's what I wanted but to kind of ingrain it more in my mind so I like I take a couple moments like a couple minutes each morning I wasn't like super consistent but just generally and I would write down that like in May 2020 I'm going to get accepted to PA school it's, it felt like super dumb but it was really powerful because it allowed me to just mentally make that switch from pursuing um, like the MD route to compared to pursuing a PA role and then it also allowed me to be more confident in my responses to people who are asking me like oh what are you doing or like what are you pursuing and I felt that I was able to answer that question better because it was what I wanted and it was what I was pursuing and I was doing that really intentionally. And with regards to your approach to the written supplementary application for U of T, now of course the questions are confidential um, and the content of your answer is confidential. Um, but any tips about how to approach writing effectively uh, for admissions uh, in general? Um, so for me, I was like writing and rewriting a lot. I had some general themes that I knew I wanted to include in each of the questions, but then I kind of had to determine how I was going to communicate them and how I was going to communicate everything I wanted to say within the word count. So it was a lot of, yeah, definitely writing and rewriting, but I also wanted to make sure that I showed kind of as much as myself as I could. Um, and I've, I've tried to, I think I mentioned this um, once before in the live that I think I really tried to do because I think it's um, how the application process is set up allows you to um, show as much as yourself as possible as a candidate. Like they give you lots of opportunities like supplemental. Um, there's a couple different questions. You can show lots of different parts of yourself. And then also the interview, you can show more of yourself because there's so many students applying, right? So you want to be able to give them as much of a snapshot as yourself as you can within such a short time. So I think um, writing down what those key things are that you want to communicate at the end of the day is the most important thing for doing that supplemental. And then the words that you put in between and how you communicate that is something you just have to work on through editing and sending out to a couple family members, but not, not over editing too, because getting too much feedback sometimes can be um, uh, not helpful. 